For this installation, you will need a 00 Phillips screwdriver, as well as a metal or plastic prying tool. Start by locating and removing the two screws at the bottom of the iPhone. For the next step, you can attempt to use a suction cup, though you may have trouble removing the damaged screen in whole. We suggest using a plastic tool starting at the lower left corner, working along the edge to lift the plastic midframe. You may need to use a thinner metal tool for this. Work the tool beneath the plastic mid-frame and the front panel should come loose. Once open, you will pivot the screen as shown, like a hinge. Inside, you will find numbered cables. The number one cable is for the LCD screen. The number two cable is for the digitizer. The number three cable is hidden beneath cable number two. It is very fragile. You must open the latch before removing the cable as shown here. It will flip upwards, releasing the number three cable. Gently remove the cable from the connector. We will now remove the LCD screen by removing the screws along the left and right side of the panel. As well as one at the top. Separate the LCD screen by using a thin tool along the panel from which you just removed the screws. Carefully pull the LCD screen from the mid-frame. Set aside the damaged part and get a new part. Peel the film from the digitizer. To install the original LCD screen into the mid-frame, you insert the top end and slide upwards. You may have difficulty with a small grounding clip shown here. Gently lift the tab to allow the LCD screen to sit in the mid-frame. Now reinstall the screws. Make sure the holes for the screws are properly aligned. You will now reinsert the number 3 cable into the flip connector. Make sure the flip is open when you insert the cable, then gently close the flip connector. Then reseat cable number 2, followed by cable number 1. Be gentle when seating the cables, applying the minimal amount of pressure needed. Hold the number one cable with your finger while you begin to close the front panel. Working along the sides from the top to bottom, then push the panel closed.
Reinstall the two screws at the bottom of the iPhone. Power the device on and test the screen.